the human brain interface question. It's like, if how much time have you spent looking at what Elon said about Neuralink? Outside of your podcast? Nothing. It's um, it's very complicated because the first steps about it are really undeniably important because the first steps about it are reconnecting people's spinal cords. The first way that it's going to be implemented is with people that have like severe spinal cord injuries. Yeah. So someone who has an injury like that, they'll be able to do something where this this implant interfaces with the brain and somehow or another can control the nerves or activate parts of the body. I'm not exactly sure how it's done, but it's going to allow people that are paralyzed to walk. It's crazy. Yeah, so it's which which is an undeniably That's, amazing thing. Yeah, like, there's no ethical wild. questions about that. The ethical questions arise when you realize that you're going to be putting this quarter size hole in someone's head, and then you're going to put wires into their brain, and it's going to change the way human beings inform, interface with information. Yeah. He said it's basically going to increase. This is his words. It's going to increase your bandwidth to, to your to your access to information, and you're going to be able to talk without words. Yeah, I remember he said that on your podcast as well. I mean, fuck. <laughs> if anybody else said that, I'd be like, shut up, bitch. <laughs> but when Elon says it, I was like, shit. He probably, ha I mean, he's not saying that wildly. He's probably got a plan. Yeah. You know, for coming up See, with now something. you're making me wish I was more educated in this because that's so fascinating. There's yeah. so much cool shit going on, like mm -hmm. VR, that, that it's just, fuck. There's so much cool shit, and I'm, my feeling is. The way the internet sort of just changed life. If you go back to pre-internet versus post-internet, people there's a lot of problems that people have with the internet, right? There's cyberbullying. There's a lot of people that are disconnected. A lot of kids, in particular, have a real problem with social media, with FOMO, and just with people bullying them and them yeah. comparing their lives to other people. There's a with girls in particular. There's a lot of like serious psychological issues that have come with social media. But it came out of nowhere, man. I mean, we're, we're talking about like the real implementation of social media, where mass scale, where it started affecting people's lives as early 2000s. And now here we are. Maybe like 2010. Yeah, yeah. really, it was phones. It was, yeah. which, so iPhone 2007, right? Yeah. So that's really. Which took it's... years to ramp up. Yeah. yeah. Like maybe even 2010 is a little early. Because I, I agree. It's like, it's not like we've had 100 years to study how this shit affects us. It's exactly. Like, it's, it's all very recent. Yeah. And it changed lives so quickly it went from you know 1990 almost no one had a phone a cell phone to 2020 everyone has a cell phone yeah to what is it 20 years from now what is it 30 years from now i mean w when does this new technology get implemented and completely change the way human beings communicate with each other i don't i don't think it's going to be that far away man i think once it gets going the problem is, and the way Elon was explaining it, you're going to have such a competitive advantage if you have yeah. this chip, if you have this Neuralink, you have this setup. That you could just get an infinite loan out to get it put in. Well, not, not just that, but the, you know, we've always had this problem where the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Like, what happens, you know, from the haves and the have-nots, once the haves have a fucking Neuralink... And now they have literally like an infinity pill that they're taking yeah. that gets, uh, what is that movie with Bradley Cooper? Limitless. limitless. You got a limitless pill they're taking. And then out of nowhere, they have incredible access to information. Imagine and literally learning everything I know, everything I've spent my whole life studying, just downloading your brain in yes. a second. Yeah. And what if it gives you in, in energy too? Because you think about what are people taking when they're taking stimulants like Adderall? Well, they're taking something that stimulates your brain. I mean, it stimulates your central nervous system, but it's to, it gives your brain more information, more, more or more energy rather. But yeah. if we could, if, if you could do that electronically, where you're not juicing yourself up with amphetamines, but instead you're enhancing all the capabilities of your entire neural network. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. We're gonna be robots. We're gonna be cyber people. I don't, I don't know in our lives, but I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think it's gonna happen quick. I think once I think this is the big fear is AI, right? What people are worried about is a sentient artificial intelligence that's far superior to ours that realizes that we're not just outdated, but we're kind of dangerous and we ruin the environment and just decides to get rid of us yeah. and take over as the new life form. You accidentally write something that's like, help us solve climate change. And it's like, yes. the solution is just kill the humans. Well, Marshall McLuhan wrote about this in the 1960s. He said, human beings are the sex organs of the machine world. 
Sax organs and the machine world. Elaborate on that? Well, we make the machines. The machines need us to make them. We are how they replicate. So mm -hmm. once, once the human being creates a machine that's better than it, why would the machine keep it around? If they create an artificial life form that can make better artificial, like we're, we are, we are incredibly advanced in com compared to most of the creatures on this planet. But in compared to what's possible, I mean, godlike powers, infinite powers are possible if you just scale up from yeah. what we can do now with nuclear power and video and 5G that you could send to Australia in a second. It's wild shit you can do right now. Imagine how far that keeps going yeah. and, and where it's going to go. Well, if, they, if it eventually goes to an artificial creature, an artificial being that someone constructs and it's not biologically based at all, so it doesn't have any of the pitfalls that we have in terms of our our reliance on emotions and fear and um, our d desire to breed and ego and all these different weird Sleep, things that people disease, have. Yeah. None of those. Has yeah. zero. Zero of those things. We'll be obsolete. I mean, in a hypothetical world, I agree. I, but well, The hypothetical world is being worked on right now by the, the smartest fucking people in the world. That's why it's sketchy. See, and, and that's why I'd rather just live in my own little bubble. Just do my own little thing. You you know, you you figured that out with them. You guys handle it. Just, here, just make sure I don't get killed by this AI. Uh, and I'll just, I'll be over here. I'll make YouTube videos. I'll, well, I'll do my thing. I'll feed people. Listen, I'm not figuring out shit. I'm just talking. 